Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So friends, when you talk about the different different displays of different smartphones, uh, televisions, your cameras or else different devices which is used in a different industries. So when we talk about the displays, over the period of years, displays are becoming very very thin. It has become flexible. Like in earlier days, we were using this CRD cathode ray tube it is implemented in the earlier uh, televisions but nowadays televisions are becoming thin and we are becoming fat well over your friends the advancement in the displays we are talking there are several displays like QHD FHD OLED LED so there are several types of the displays well I'm not going to talk about all of those types but over your friends, I'm going to talk about the Amazon Kindle's display. The display which is implemented in the Amazon Kindle, that is nothing but the electronic paper, which can also be termed as the e-ink. Well friends, this particular display is having of unique properties, such as first one, this particular display consumes less power in such a way that, like its battery can last up to for four weeks. Like if you continue read for half an hour per day, so it will last up to four weeks. So that's an added advantage. Like our cell phones doesn't last for this uh, longer period. Also, this particular display is like in a brighter sunlight conditions. You can see each and every uh, detail, each and every image, each and every design diagram layout in a very crystal clear manner under direct sunlight but you cannot do that in our regular uh, displays which we are using in our, the in the smartphones we cannot read under direct sunlight well this is also another advantage especially this particular amazon kindle it, it is a uh, it is designed especially for readers like you won't get any disturbance while reading you won't get any whatsapp facebook instagram telegram any kind of message any kind of app notification over here so friends this particular amazon kindle its display that is nothing but the electronic paper that i'm going to discuss in our today's video so friends if you are new over here on my educational channel engineers academy kindly subscribe it and please press the bell icon because that's ultimately very important like when you press the bell icon you will instantly get notified so Let's begin with our today's topic that is nothing but the electronic paper e-ink. Friends, when we talk about the displays, the first thing that comes in our mind is that is nothing but the resolution. What is the resolution of the display? So over here, this is nothing but the Amazon Kindle. It is having a resolution of 161 ppi. That is like pixels per inch. So these dif displays are made up of the tiny pixels. Over here friends, we can call it as the one tiny pixel, we can call it as a capsule over here. So over here in the Amazon Kindles, that is over here in electronic paper, there are millions of different capsules are arranged horizontally and vertically. And that ultimately produces one image and that ultimately forms one image on the screen. Now, when we talk about each capsule, the each capsule is having, this is the structure of each capsule. So inside that particular capsule, there are different, different particles which are there. These are electrically charged particles. On the top, we have got one electrode and on the bottom itself, it is, there is also one electrode. Now, these particles is electrically charged. Like uh, over here, let's say uh, in the Amazon Kindle, there are only two colors, white and black. So that's why it lasts for a couple of weeks. So in this particular capsule, you can see there are the white, white, small particles and the black, black particles. This particular capsule is filled with a liquid. It means like uh, particles are continuously floating on that particular liquid. It is either at the top or at the bottom. So that liquid is the transparent liquid, no doubt the white particles are positively charged whereas the black particles are negatively charged. So friends, whenever we apply uh, like the electrical charge that is 
the that is of the same type that is the negatively charged at the bottom the negatively charged particles these are the black particles get repelled to the top and they will accumulate at the top and they will form an image on the screen so it is very simple and friends over here it will remain on a top so whenever we need to do some changes and whenever we need to form another image on the top like of the another different different type or when we want to switch the position of the image in into that particular display into the different different capsules so whenever we want to do uh, so whenever we want to switch between any image or whenever we scroll down it will this particle small particles will move so at that particular point only it consumes the electrical energy so this is how the image gets formed on the screen and you will see an exact crystal clear image crystal clear data handwriting on the screen so friends over here when we apply the electrical charge the consecutive the particles with the same electric charge will get repelled on the top so this is the basic principle behind the working of the e ink or electronic paper friends this particular e paper it is always in black and white like the basic incarnation of the e paper that is in a black and white color like there is no another color for the electronic paper so friends over here this particular electronic paper it is uh, having a two different features and that makes this uh, electronic paper which is different than the ordinary displays ordinary qled leds any kind of display so it is having a two different features that is nothing but it is first is it is bistable and the second it is reflective so when we talk about the bistable what is the meaning of the bistable so whenever we switch between the black particles on the top and white particles on the down like this particular black particles will be on the top unless and until user makes any changes or user switch between the information which is there on the screen so ultimately when user uh, switches the information the in that particular capsule the black particles will fall down and white particles will move off so for that particular switching okay for that particular switching the electrical energy gets consumed but over a period of time suppose when the black particles remains on top it cannot consume more power so that's why this particular amazon kindle devices its battery life is very much on a higher side so that's why friends i call it as a bistable and when we talk about it is reflective like under the direct sunlight conditions you can clearly read the data the illustration the visual art image anything which is there on the e paper under direct sunlight conditions but friends we cannot do that in our cell phones the display of the cell phones like under direct conditions we found some difficulty to read that particular information read that particular data on the screen also this is glare free there is no glare there is no glare on the screen of the amazon kindle so that's why it is like a uh, use of friendly for the people who loves reading who loves illustration who loves design drawing anything so friends ultimately when you use this electronic paper ultimately there are there is no strain in your eyes for longer hours you can read by using this electronic paper so friends that was about the feature and the principle we have seen so far now let's talk about the application like application is that is for the writing we can easily write it down just like a paper like amazon kindle it is uh, you get a stylus pen and you, when you write it down to different different notes this particular notes will get automatically transferred to your companion app where you can easily download the different different notes so it becomes very easy to store so that's a replacement for your notebooks you can store the data you can store your notes by using this amazon kindle by using this electronic paper also friends it is very useful in the parking like suppose on parking available that is vacant and no parking like it can switch white and black color it can be easily used in the parking as well also it can be used in the signals signboards like uh, 
in our futuristic applications like uh, in your hospitals colleges notice boards so notice boards the uh, one single notice which last there for couple of weeks so we can use this uh, electronic papers over the year like we can change the data remotely by using the wifi in this electronic paper it is also used in the hospitals it is also used in uh, sign boards different different sign boards in airports for the different counters how the counter identification will be uh, how the counter identification so it it can be used in anywhere friends in the future the newspaper it will be of electronic paper so that was about the mere applications of the electronic paper so also friends there are some downfalls this particular amazon kindle when you try to use very very fastly its response is a bit slow not only amazon kindle you can go with the any a different manufacturer any different electronic paper its response is a bit slower than that of the smartphones the processing power with like that's not about the processing power that's about the refresh rate of the display so whenever a content which is gets placed on a display the switching between the different different pixels or the switching between the different designs that is merely very important so over your friends like nowadays the gaming laptops gaming desktops this comes with the higher refresh rate which is usually expressed which is always expressed in hertz hertz is the uh, unit of frequency that is the cycles per time over here in terms of the display that is the number of switchings per second so when we talk about the display is having the 120 hertz refresh rate like there will be the switching of an image that is 120 times in a particular second so this is something very important this is the refresh rate but friends while using uh, reading a book the refresh rate is not that particular important so that's why when the refresh rate becomes lower ultimately the your uh, energy gets consumed so like uh, energy between the switching gets consumed over here so this is the reason this kind of the electronic paper is having the higher battery life so friends also friends there is another downfall that this particular uh, uh, electronic paper it is now as of now available in only two colors white and black so that becomes another disadvantage over here but friends over here this electronic paper is got lot of applications and merely in the next consecutive years it will it will boom up in the industry so friends tell me in the comments what you think about this electronic paper electronic ink and amazon kindle different devices so friends i hope you like my video if you having any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational channel jinas academy thank you so much friends for watching this educational video please do subscribe